All right guys, welcome back to Sharp Moves. Today we've got something really, really cool. We've got the 2021 uh, Mercedes GLB AMG 35. Okay, so this is not your, your regular standard GLB 250. This is the AMG trim, the beautiful AMG, you know, all the fit and finishing. It's got a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more torque. Um, it's got a little bit more attention to detail with the interior, with the suspension, with the chassis. Um, and it's just a little bit, I don't wanna say a little bit nicer, but a little bit more performance oriented, okay? When we're talking about AMG, we're talking about a little bit of a step up in performance, um, a step up in, in, you know, sort of racing heritage, um, more attention to detail with, with power, with, you know, with bigger brakes, um, and, and just, just sort of better, more aggressive um, styling and driving dynamics. So let's get a good look at this one, inside and out. This one's finished in brilliant blue. We're gonna take a look at the exterior, we're gonna go through all the interior, and then we're gonna take it for a little drive and see, uh, see just how it drives. If is, it, is it really worth the 60,000 USD MSRP that this one is asking for? All right, so what's really, really interesting to me is the contrast in you know, you got a C63S, my C63S coupe right there. And then you bring it over here and you can see the, the similarities. You can definitely see the differences. Obviously this is, this is an SUV. This is a very compact, small SUV, uh, but you know, it's got the front grill, nice menacing front grill. It's got all this sort of the, the um, you know, the, the, what do we call it? The air dynamics and, and stuff at the front, non-functional obviously, but just, just the attention to detail with the black and the, you know, the, 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 the vents here, the openings here to get airflow, the beautiful, the beautiful uh, Panamericana or AMG specific grill to get airflow into the engine, right? This car is obviously, it's working a lot harder. It's, you know, it's shifting faster. It's being driven harder, so it needs a lot more airflow going through to it. So it's just really, really cool to have the two of them sort of back to back here. A lot of, lot of similarities, which is really, really cool, especially with the badging and stuff like that. Um, let's get over to the, the GLB and have a little look-see in and out uh, at uh, this, this particular spec. All right, so the front of the car, AMG specific. All right, that's, that's definitely an AMG reminiscent uh, characteristic right there, and it's beautiful, big, big, elegant, aggressive grill. You got the, the big star, you got the logo right there. This one finished in brilliant blue. Uh, if we come around here, we've got the beautiful daytime running lights, right? And then we've got the headlamps here, really, really nice for the GLB, right? Remember, you're looking at a mid, uh, or excuse me, a compact small size sedan, right? This is their smallest sedan. This is the, if you wanna get into an AMG like this and you're, you're maybe not financially ready or you don't need all the crazy power of the twin turbo V8 rear wheel drive, you would step into something a little bit more like this. It's a little bit more entry level, a little bit more, not everyone needs 500 horsepower, right? This one's um, got 300 plus sort of horsepower and just under 300 uh, foot-pounds of torque, right? So good sort of starter SUV, not to mention practicality as well, right? It's got four seats, it's got four matic, uh, so it's gonna keep you planted. You could drive it in the winter, you can drive it in the wet, right? It's got big, big storage in the back, 22 um, cubic, uh, cubic feet of, uh, of storage with the seats up, 60 with the seats down. Really, really, really practical sort of AMD. So again, looking at the front here, I love what they've done with this nice black lip here, right? Very nice styling cue. This is all open. Really, really hate how this is closed. I don't know why they would do that and this is all closed. That makes no sense, right? That's just a fake sort of styling cue. Um, but I really, really love this black lip. Really looks sort of like very aerodynamic, right? Very sort of race inspired. All right, just looking at the wheel and tire setup, big, huge calipers here. Uh, fully ventilated cross-drilled brakes with massive, beautiful red calipers. I love how they're painted red. Uh, white spoke rims sitting on 20 inches, right? This one's got uh, Michelin uh, winter tires, right? We're living in Toronto, so we're gonna need all that. That's sort of paired or mated with the formatic. It's gonna rate, mate for a really, really sort of nice practical sort of drive. Um, this one obviously has a beautiful turbo charge. Formatic badging, right? Remember, this car is is is, um, is fitted with a two-liter uh, inline four-cylinder single turbocharged engine. It's 
got 302 horsepower, 295 excuse me, foot pounds of torque. So she actually goes, and we're gonna you know, we're gonna put her on Sport Plus, and we're gonna we're gonna push her a little bit, but she uh, she goes for you know for the size of it, right? It's fairly fairly small, just under 4,000 pounds, 3,869 3, pounds to be exact. With all that power, it's uh, you know she definitely goes. She definitely picks up with the formatic too, keeping you nice and planted. She's got some nice pickup. So just making our way around the side here, beautiful side LED turn signals that are sort of worked into the uh, into the mirror. Really, really like that. You got your your um, your sort of blind spot assist there in case you need it, right? Really, really nice sort of chrome finishes here. Remember, this one is finished in brilliant blue metallic, right? Really, really looks good, especially with the sort of gloss black or the, the flat black finishes. Um, and saying that I'm not a huge, huge fan on how they've done this. I wish that would be, um, you know, body color matched. Same with the bottom there. I think they're trying to make it a little bit more sort of aggressive looking, but I just, I just don't really think it looks that great. Uh, what I do like is the nice back of this car, right? How it really, really comes back. Cool little styling point, right? The GLB is the, the new entry level sort of um, S, uh, small size compact SUV. Really, really like that. Coming around the back of the car, get a nice roof spoiler here, which is really, really cool. Finished in gloss black. Nice and AMG-esque, right? Gives you that nice from the side. Gives you that nice sort of sporty looking sort of vibe to it, right? It's a, it's a good looking SUV. It really, really looks, uh, looks good. Come around, you get your all your, obviously your nice badging here. Get your AMG badging right there. Your Mercedes logo, GLB 35, right? Come around, you get a little bit of, um, you know, sort of brushed aluminum there just for, just for wear and tear, right? When you're moving things in and out, uh, you're not gonna totally break it down, right? All your LED, all your, your rear lights coming right around the, sort of wrapped around the car. Looks really, really good. I like how they've styled that. Really, really nice. Probably my favorite part of the, the car actually is this beautiful rear splitter, right? Feast your eyes on that, like almost race inspired splitter. Look at that. That's unbelievable. Two huge black rear pipes. What I don't like is all of this fake venting again. I have no idea why they would even put that there. It makes no sense. But these are all functional. That's functional. The, the vents on the side again, not functional. But both sides, that's functional as well. A little look see in there, that's functional. And then that amazing splitter at the back. Looks really, really cool. The back of this, this car, or this SUV, excuse me, has a really nice stance to it. Really, really like the look of that. All right, just looking at the top here again. Finished in flat black, you get some nice strong sort of roof rails, right? Really, really made well there. Kind of ties in nicely with the with the design of the car. I'm not a huge, huge fan. You never see me getting them, getting those put on mine. But you know, if they work for Stradman and his Lamborghini, they, they work for for anyone. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, you, you, you again, you you buy this car for practicality, right? So if you wanted to put some snowboards, you want to put some bikes on there right? You could definitely do that. This is, this is the car to do that. So they've really tied in the, the sort of roof rails with, with the styling of the, of the car and the look of it. And I think it, uh, I think they pulled it off. I think it looks pretty decent. All right, guys. So you're probably wondering 302 horsepower, 295 foot pounds of torque. What does this thing sound like? All right? Let's get a little rev off. All right guys, so taking a look at the engine here, we've got a single hydraulic hood strut to open up the engine, all right? As you take a look here, got a beautiful AMG packaging covering that two liter inline four cylinder, all right? Beautiful, beautiful sort of AMG uh, logoing over to the top of that. Back here, you got this beautiful long AMG branded hydraulic hood strut, look at that from one side to the next, right? And that's uh, literally hooking up into both shock absorbers on both sides there, if you took a look at that, right? 
that gives the car sort of it's it's got adaptive dampers on all four corners and that's all that dependent on uh, sort of which which mode you're in which driving mode which are beautiful turbocharged there it's a really really nice place to be so this car does 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds uh, its top speed is 155 miles per hour um, MPGs 21 in the city 26 on the highway and again, this one is MSRPing for 60,000 US dollars. All right, so looking at the door panels here, you get your beautiful Alcantara mixed with nice soft touch leathers, right? I think they've done this, this, I think they've done the interior of this in a real sort of classy way, right? You get sort of the elegance of Mercedes Benz, but then you're also getting those nice AMG sort of aggressive sporty touches, right? Brushed aluminum all through here, as you obviously know and, and expect. You get everything power oriented in here. You get your, your uh, manual uh, electric um, movable seats, um, sort of heated seats. This is, I'm not a huge fan of. This should be ventilated seats. It's an option, but on a $60,000 car, it should be standard, right? So I'm not a huge fan of that. Not to mention it's sitting there, right? Just kind of staring at you saying, hey, hey, you didn't option me out. You didn't option me out. Uh, so, you know, if you're living somewhere, obviously I live in Toronto here, so we don't really need it that often. But if you're living somewhere like Florida or somewhere real warm, you would definitely want that and expect it in an expensive car like that. On the kick plates here, you're gonna get a nice beautiful sort of AMG logo that lights up at night, right? So moving into the interior here, beautiful, beautiful, nice leather seats with this red stitching. You're seeing this beautiful contrast red stitching all through the side door, all through the, the seating here, through the middle, right? These ones are nicely bolstered. Right, not bolstered. I don't. I don't think the same way. You know, uh, you know, a high-level AMG would be. But for for the driving you're going to do in this thing, it's they're definitely bolstered nicely. Right. I love this leather mixed with Alcantara. This feels really, really nice. Um, you can obviously pull this this out. Let's see if we can pull it out. Yep, for a little extra bolstering. All right, close that back in. Here, this interior is like so beautiful. Not only do you get tons and tons of ambient lighting all over the place, but the AC vents are very, very, they're new and beautiful. They're very nautical, sorry, oriented. So if I push up for heat, they all go red. If I push down, they go blue, which is really, really, really cool. You can twist them, get a lot of nice heptic feedback, right? When you're moving them around, click, click, right? Love that. Get a lot, of, a lot of nice little soft touch leathers again on the top, mixed with some beautiful touches of, uh, of carbon fiber. All right, get a little nice little look at that, mixed with the soft um, or sort of the brushed aluminum. I really, really like how AMG does the the mix of leathers with carbon fibers with Alcantara. It's a really nice sort of mix. It looks, it looks like it all kind of works really well together. So coming around here. The kind of piece de resistance, you get these beautiful sort of E-class or S-class inspired 10.3 inch displays, right? Which, which really look good, right? Everything is nice and digital. Everything's nice and clear. The colors are very robust. And are they touchscreen? Yes, they're touchscreen. You got your AMG performance. You got your comfort mode. How, how are, not your comfort mode, but how comfortable you are in the interior. You can sync up your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You got your navigation, your radio. You can get your phone connected there. Very, very simple. I'll be going straight to the AMG performance, just like my baby over there, All right? You can check out your engine data. Your, your, you know, you can see your revs, your performance, your torque, all that sort of stuff your consumption, right? We already talked about that, right? Very, very cool. Just with the, the touch of a, of a flick on your steering wheel, you're back, right? And if you don't feel like using the touch screen, because it's, maybe it's a little bit too far away from you, you can come down here and you've got this nice touch pad, right? That again is giving you this beautiful sort of feedback. Click, 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 click. And that's not coming through the camera, but every time I touch it, I get this little psh, this good feedback that lets me know that I've made a move. When I want to go back, I hit back, right? When I want to go home again, boom, it just takes me home. Very, very good. So you got a couple options here. If you don't even want to use that and you want to go through your drive modes through here, bang, you just hit that as well. That'll take you through your drive modes too. Bang, bang, and you're right there. Very quick, nice and efficient. You got your volume controls here as well. If you're, if you're blaring some Taylor Swift or something like that, 
um, or whatever you you like to listen to. Um, what I like is that, that they've designed this nice little sort of piece here. You know, everyone likes to have their arm in some certain sort of spot, whether it's there. You know, most most cars, not Mercedes, have a little gear shifter here, so you can put your hand there. This one doesn't have that. Obviously, it's a Mercedes, right? So they've designed this in here, a little little piece of high high quality leather, just to put your hand there and kind of rest it when you're when you're doing your thing on that on the button there which is really, really cool. I like that little design uh, cue. Got all your buttons there. All right, yeah, let's see if that comes in. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, it's for your suspension. That's if you wanna jump into manual. There's your traction control off. All the other little tidbits, right? Navigation, all that sort of stuff. Very, very cool. Moving to the cup holders, right? You got two cup holders, the little, little flick of a switch. You can make those a little smaller pop those back open they're a little bit bigger right you got your 12 volt socket you got your two usb uh usb c's you've got your wireless charging pad in there which is really really nice i don't like how it's got this little i don't know if i can see if i can find it it's got a little button that actually comes across it's meant to be closed i would like this just to be all one open space but still you leave it open if you like and it's it's uh, always accessible right to charge your phone very very cool just coming back here, a lot of little side space, a lot of um, space here. We're just like, that's very, very uh, Mercedes-esque, right? One little button, it opens both ways, bang, opens both ways. A lot of space in there, more, more USB-Cs, a lot of space to hold a lot of stuff, whatever it may be, a pair of extra sunglasses, you know, like, you know, a bottle of water, anything like that. Very, very cool. On the side panels, you got a bunch of storage space there. You can put a bunch of bottles of water some sandwiches, whatever you may, may need. So again, this system, very, very intuitive, right? It's very easy, easy to use. It works with, the media works with Apple CarPlay, works all your cell phones, Android Auto, whatever you really need. It's got touchscreen abilities, bang, bang, bang. You know, it's got it's got heptic ability, whatever you, whatever you prefer. Um, I really, really like it. I think it's really, really cool. Lots of different functions here on the uh, on the dash as well. I can go through designs, super sport there if I want to, all right? Which changes it, makes it a little bit cooler, all right? I can go back, change that back. It's just a sport, all right? I can go to media. You know, it's got a little bit of everything. I got my phone. I can have whatever I want displayed in front of me there if I want to scheduling a service. Very, very cool, very easy to use. I'm six feet tall and I've got tons and tons of room ahead of me. Like I can go as high as I want, standing way up, and I still can't come close. So if you're a tall person, you wanna be in this car, amazing, amazing headroom. Amazing, amazing headroom. It's really, really awesome. That brings me to the amazing, amazing sunroof. Nice and large, nice and wide all the way back there to get some nice natural light in there. All right, to one of the most beautiful things in a Mercedes-Benz. Look at how gorgeous the steering wheel is. Brushed aluminum, all the features, everything at your disposal here, right? You got your beautiful star. You got your, your, your what do you call it, your 12 marker, right? To let you know when you're turning, to bring it back to 12, bring it back to center. This beautiful high quality leather with nice red contrast stitching, like just like throughout the whole, uh, the whole interior, really, really nice and chunky, just chunky enough. Beautiful flat bottom at the bottom there, right? If that makes it out, yeah. Getting a nice AMG logo there, nice touches of brushed aluminum. As I said before, the, the, this car is really done tastefully with you know brushed, brushed aluminum, leather, and then little bits of sort of uh, carbon fiber and Alcantara throughout. Really, really looks like just absolutely gorgeous. So this whole place with the ambient lighting and everything, is just a gorgeous place to be, all right? Which is why I'm kind of shooting it in dimmer light for you guys to get that kind of full effect. All right, so let's jump to the back here. We've got an electric assist to open up the back, all right, as we open it up. We can see that because of the design of this GLB, right, with the nice big wide sort of back, that extended back, we get a lot, a lot of sort of space, right? And so moving in here, you get a little bit of room here for a few little odds and ends, right? A little bit of space in there. You could put a few little things. You could pull this down if you want to hide what you're, what you're sort of carrying. If you're smuggling some stuff across the border, <laughs> don't do that. But if you want to cover your groceries or something from them flying around, you could do that. Right, a little bit of stuff there, more little, more storage space here, 
right? And you just get a huge, huge space in the back here. So this one with the seats up as they currently are is gonna give you 22 cubic uh, feet of space. Um, with the seats down, it's gonna give you 60 cubic feet, uh, feet of space. Okay, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Very practical, right? You get your nice sort of brushed aluminum here to make it look nice, but very sort of rugged, right? So you can kind of wear it out. You could drag things across here. It won't be a huge, huge issue. And then when you want to go, go to close it, just like any typical Mercedes-Benz, that's going to close and lock. That's just going to close it. So bang, we'll give it a close. And good to go. I'm just gonna climb in, see how much room I have. All right, so I climb in there, getting a look at the gorgeous interior there. Look at how beautiful that is with the sunroof. So take a look at how much headroom I'm getting back here as well. It's just un unbelievable. Look at this, right? I'm six feet. That looks like that's where it stops, but really it goes even higher. It goes to like, literally. so if I go all the way back here, right? Look at that, I've got so much room, so much room. Six feet and I'm sitting up and there's another, it's probably another two or three feet. Maybe not right there, but oh, I'd say about a, you know, a little, there, there's quite a bit of room there. I don't know the exact amount of space, but it's very comfortable to move around. Like I could even jump up a little bit and I'm not banging my head. The little features here, not a huge fan of these like little sort of things. I I, th I think they kind of cheap out there. I think that should be leather or maybe even some Alcantara or some sort of material, right? That's very cheap. It's on both sides. Um, you get those nice nautical sort of AC vents again with that good heptic feedback, open, closed. If you come down here just a little bit, you can see there's a little bit more USB-C again, right? A little bit extra storage space right there, right? And then more ambient lighting, more leather, and uh, Alcantara beautifulness. Again, that Alcantara, that red beautiful stitching is, is literally covered all throughout. Pull this thing down, right? Bang, down, down, down. These are nice and closed, right? beautiful leather here to, to rest if you're you and your kids are going on a long journey right you want to give them some cup holders a little bit of Tim Hortons or something like that bang opens up nice and easily close it with one touch good to go okay to the glove compartment here let's just get a little look see here nothing spectacular if you've seen one you've seen them all a little bit of space got your Mercedes manual all that sort of jazz close her up ability to lock and unlock it all right guys we've done enough talking about the glb now it's time to actually drive it so let's just go for a little rip here won't take us too long just to get an idea of how we feel about the vehicle uh, so first thing i notice when i get in this car is that it definitely i look around i you know i, I listen to the sounds you know i feel what i'm feeling it definitely feels special to me uh, i feel like i'm in an amg i feel like i'm in something a little bit different all right, very, very cool sort of car. 3,800 pounds and change. It doesn't feel that heavy. It's it's formatic. It's got a peppy little engine in it. So, um, you know, it, it gets around pretty good. It's pretty sporty. Yeah, she definitely goes and she stays down. So again, I'm driving around. I got all these beautiful soft touch leathers, right? I've got my modes at my disposal here. We're in Sport Plus, obviously. Right, I'm looking around. I've you know I've got a lot of natural light coming in here, ambient lighting. It looks looks beautiful. I've got the power domes on the front uh, hood there the, that I can look at that make it look real strong and bulgy. Um, as we turn this corner, I'm going to give it a little little something, and uh, and hear that that sort of you know two liter four cylinder inline four sound. I'm really curious to hear what it sounds like. So as I get into the engine a little bit. I can certainly hear that AMG inspired sort of, you know, beautifulness of the, the quickness of the shifts, that brum, brum, which makes you realize or makes you think how finely tuned these German automobiles are, right? It's like when the, when the car shifts, it's like very, brum, brum, brum. it just sounds like it's doing everything very quick and very like a scalpel. It's very like measured, very like thought out. Um, it's beautiful. It really, really sounds good. Um, although a lot of the sound, I believe, is baked in through the sound system, it still sounds really, really good. So I'm coming around a corner here, just gonna get into it a little bit. Again, that formatic sort of plus as I come around the corner feels very balanced. 
right? Getting a nice sound there. Very, very good sound. She goes. She definitely goes. She's got that, got that good pep. So I'm driving it in uh, automatic mode. Um, and the shifts are very, very quick. What I want to, what I want to try now is I want to flip it over to manual and see how different the car is with, uh, with me sort of me shifting. When I, when I, I find when I'm in sport plus mode and it's not on the ma the manuals, the shifts are a little bit labored. They don't go right when I want them. They, it almost holds it a little bit too long or it's going at the wrong time. It's not quite as intuitive as, as maybe like the higher price point AMGs. Um, but it's still good. It still shifts fast when it does shift. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's still great. It's just, I wish it would shift just a little bit more timely. Uh, so I'm going to throw it into manual now and, uh, and see how the paddles are. I'm curious, very curious and excited to get on the, on the paddle. I'm going to bring up my AMG performance, my engine numbers here so I can get, get a look at them. No real cracks or bangs or gargles can't really get any of that going all right let's put our foot down here and see what these shifts are like let's see how quick these shifts are oh yeah it's good when you rev it out it's really really good it sounds really really good let's see if we can get into it again sitting in second gear right now it is very sporty very nimble brakes are pretty good Right, those nice big AMG calipers. Yeah, and when you put your foot in it, that, that single turbo sort of spools up and, and that formatic works together and it really gives you that nice pull right off the bat. Sitting on these little uh, snow tires, but it's the, the pull is quick. You can really feel it pulling from all four corners. So that's the thing, when you buy a car like this, the AMG model, the, the 35 AMG versus the GLB 250, you're getting extra t attention to detail on the chassis, extra attention to detail on the bigger brakes, the stopping power, right? The, um, you know, the suspension is a little bit better, right? You have multiple driving modes. This thing is quick. It hits hard. You can definitely hear it coming through the, uh, through the, um, through the, um, the sound system, but it doesn't really ruin the experience. If anything, it enhances it. So let's see around this corner, quick and quick and hard. A little bit of body roll. I went pretty hard into it, but it's an SUV, right? Like, what can you, what can we expect? I think it does a good job. It really does a good job coming around these corners, and it sounds really good. For for again, for an inline, you know, four cylinder, it, it sounds good. And take it for. To, for AMG, they, you know, if anyone's gonna make a four-cylinder sound good, it's gonna be AMG. So looking around, a lot of people look at this car. You know, it's obviously finished in brilliant blue, which is like a bluish kind of purple. But it's a it's a bit of a unique car. You don't see a lot of these around. You see GLBs, but you don't really see a GLB 35s with the big engine, a little bit more aggressive looking. Uh, it's an interesting car. So I'm, I'm driving around. And a lot of people are giving me looks. A lot of people are interested. A lot of people are like giving me the thumbs up and stuff like that. It's a, it's, it's certainly a, a cool car. So I'm really enjoying driving this thing on the paddle shifters. Let's see what kind of downshifts we can get. Not really any cracks or pops or anything like that, but the downshifts are, are they're all right. Not too bad. So another, another pull here. Get that nice sound coming through the, uh, through the stereo here. Really, really good. Really good sound. Still a four cylinder, but you're getting that good sound. Yeah, she definitely pulls. That that formatic definitely definitely pulls. And then let's get on the brakes hard. Yeah, brakes are good. Brakes are really, really good. All things considered, right? It's a heavy car, building up a lot of speed. The brakes are really, really good. Steering feels really nice, right? It's nice and quick. It's responsive. I'm in Sport Plus, right? The ride's not too bad, you know. I'm on, on, I'm in a big sort of gnarly, not big, but I'm in a, a bigger uh, SUV. I'm used to being in a sports car, so you get over the bumps and stuff of like that, and it rides the bumps reasonably well. Let's go into comfort mode here, all right? Comfort, and let's see if we get much of a difference here in how this thing is jumping over bumps. All right, here comes a little patch of bumps here. Yeah, it's like, it's a little bit more relaxed. It's a little bit more calm. It kind of rides. It's not too bad. I think if you own this car, if I own this car, certainly I'd be in Sport Plus all the time. 
Oh, it rotates nicely around that uh, that bend. I like it. I like it. I don't feel tons for the for the size of the car. I don't feel a lot, a lot of body roll unless I really push it hard into the corner. Um, it does well just for a daily sort of driving. It's it's good. It's real good. So I think if you're in the market for you know a, a, a small compact crossover performance SUV. Um, I would say, you know, you're probably looking at, you know, the likes of BMW, Audi, uh, Cadillac has got them. Um, I would say, you know, whether this is a buy or not, I would say definitely put it on your list as we pass a nice E63 wagon. Um, I would definitely put it on your list and uh, and have, an, have a go at it, explore it. If you're an AMG lover, this thing gives you a lot of AMG fun, right? It's got that nice sound. It's got the beautiful interior. You know your ambient lighting, the gorgeous steering wheel. Um, I definitely think it's 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 a it's a car to definitely look at and keep on your list. Is it fa as fast as the competitors in the BMW segment? Probably a little slower, um, from what I'm told. A little bit faster than the Cadillac, um, but you know these things are just they're just they're fast. It does you know if you're if you're .1 of a second slower than a BMW, a competitor, is that really the difference? If it is, then maybe then you look at a different car. If it's not, this is definitely a great, great car. Um, and for the price, you know, I think you get quite a bit in here. Obviously, we talked about a couple of little zonks, things that I didn't really like. You know, the ventilated seats, all the all those little creature comforts, those little those little goodies should be included in a sixty thousand dollar car right off the bat, right? Um, but again, at the end of the day, I, I I really enjoy this car. I think it's a really good buy. It's a it's a fun little SUV um, that kind of gives you that performance ability but with that practicality as well, right? And, you know, in at a reasonable price. You're getting into that AMG sort of family, that AMG group that everyone is sort of lusting after, and it's not breaking the bank to do it, right? And from there, you know, you can progress forward to something a little bit bigger and better. Maybe the GLC, maybe a GLC 43 or, um, you know, a 63 eventually in your life or, an, or a GLE. There, there's a GLS, there's so many different, um, you know places to go in the range but um i think from this it's potentially um you know a 43 model of some sort um but yeah i think it's a, de a definitely a great great vehicle uh really really happy to spend a little bit of time with it and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well guys if you enjoy these reviews and you want to see more of them please subscribe to the channel uh, i upload once a week twice a week sometimes if i can uh, trying to get as many new cars electric hybrid you know, all, all different sort of uh, new sort of cool um, vehicles, big and small, that are that are coming onto the market. Trying to get them available to you guys um, as much as possible. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you like this content and you want to see more of it. Uh, feel free to ask me a comment. Uh, ask me a question in the comment section. Share it to others that are interested in this vehicle. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. All right, take it easy.